the Bible. Important part of the study of the Bible, let's look at the Bible. It has 66 books, many authors, and many regions, and many ages. We got fishermen. We've got uh, doctors, tax collectors, men who've gone on pilgrimages by God, kings. In Muslim areas, overseas countries, our U.S. troops, our United States troops cannot carry or bring their Bible, any version, into their nations. The Bible is forbidden by our troops when you're entering into Muslim nations. Well, I say, you know what? I say we bring our troops out of those nations. If we can't carry, I mean, we're a Christian nation. Yeah, right. In 302 AD, the Roman, the Roman emperor Dilitian calls for the destruction of the word of God. This is the silent century of the oral tradition. It cannot burn the oral. On February 24, 303, Dil Dilithian's first edict against Christians was published. Among other persecutions against Christians, Dilithian ordered the destruction of their scriptures and liturgical books across the entire Roman Empire. Let's torture the Christians. Let's get rid of the word of God. 500 to 1500 AD, the Dark Ages. The power of the Roman Catholic Church and a closed Bible. What's wrong with the Catholic Church? They don't want the Bible. They can't stand the Bible. They don't want the Bible. They close the Bible. Christians were forbidden to use the old church Slavic, S-L-A-V-O-N-I-C, translation by John 10 and 920, and by the Lateran Snod of 1059. With the Snod being confirmed by Nicholas II and Alexander II, in a letter to Roslov II, B R A T I S L A V of Bohemia, B O H E M I A, dated 2nd January 1080, Pope Gregory VII revoked his predecessor's permission to use the Slavic language. 1199. Innocent III, or Innocent III. Writing in a letter to the Bishop of Mertz, banned the reading of the Bible in private meetings, which were labor, labeled as a cult or hidden assemblies. You couldn't even read the Bible in your house. 1202, the Papal, the Papal, the Pope, and boy, Bishop Garrido, uh, Pransty, P-R-A-N-E-S-T-E, -E, issued a visitation to Levin, L-E-U-V-E-N, to infer several provisions. And one of them, it was said that all books in the Latin and German languages concerning the Holy Scriptures were to be delivered to the bishop. Confiscation of the Bible. 1234, the bishop Bishop, the Spanish bishops, according to the decree of King James I of Aragon, A-R-A-G-O-N, declared that it was forbidden to anyone to own a translation of the Bible. It had to be burned within eight days. Otherwise, they were considered heretics. This is the history of our Bible. This is the church and rulers and, and realms of against the Bible, confiscating the Bible, forbidden to wear the, the, the to have the Bible, forbidden to, to read the Bible, and burning of the Bible. 1376, Pope Gregory the, the Ninth, a Pope, a Roman Church, 
ordered that all literature on the Bible should be placed under ecclesiastical direction. As a result, only the Vulgate and a few poor quality translations in the natural languages were tolerated. To tolerated. That's the Catholic Church saying certain parts of the Bible you can't have, certain Bibles you can't have. You can only have our Bible. What's wrong with our church? They don't want the Bible. Under Isabella I of Castile and her husband Fernando II of Argonne, the printing of the tongue Bibles were prohibited in the Spanish state law. You couldn't print Bibles. The Spanish Inquisition, which they instituted, ordered the destruction of all Hebrew books and all tongue Bibles in 1497. Get rid of the Bible. Get rid of the Word of God. Get rid of the Hebrew words. Manuscripts. Collection and fragments. Copies of the original writings. Not the original writing. Copies of the original writing. God is God's name is never spelt out, but is abbreviated. Minuscule, most lowercase letters run all together with no marks. The oldest is papyrus fragments manuscripts. Majuscule, uppercase letters run all together with no marks. I mean, no periods, no commas, no semicolons, no exclamation points. One big long run on word, aka young kill or unkill. Yeah, can't talk today. Vellinium, V E L U M, leather skin of calf or veal, like the Bible covers today. What we use on Bible covers today is what they use for writing the Bible. More than mosquitoes sewed together and folded to make a codex. A codex is rolled into a scroll. Cursive or handwriting. Run all together with no marks or script. So we have the writings of the Bible in minuscule. They're lowercase. They're all run together. And the oldest are the papyrus. Then we have the majuscule. Upper case letters, the capital letter, they all run together. And they were written on, on skins of veal or calf skin. They lasted longer, they, they lasted longer than the papyrus. Papyrus is a plant like. And then we have the cursive or handwriting. Again, they all just run together. I mean, this, this is hard work for the translators. There was no spaces, no periods. Well, we'll do a little stop right there for today.